Hey everyone, today I'm going to give you a short tutorial about how to use jQuery JavaScript library to make rounded elements on an HTML page, something like what you see here. Now uh, jQuery, for those of you who don't know, it's a JavaScript library. It's written in JavaScript and you can code in JavaScript. It's what you do with it, the code that you use to work with it. It looks like JavaScript, but it's not, it's not the same. Um, now this is not going to be a complete jQuery tutorial. There are other people on the internet who have done that and I don't want to get into that, but I am just going to give you some of the basics of jQuery on how to uh, use that to your advantage to make rounded elements on a web page. Now uh, for stars you want to go to jQuery.com and just click on this download button right here. You want the production version and then you want this jQuery corner demo. Uh, I'll give you the link to that in the description or on an annotation and then you can just click there to download it. Uh, note when you click on this you'll have to file save as. Um, now I've already done that. I have jQuery.js and jQuery corner.js and one blank HTML page that doesn't have anything in it except some basics formatting. Um, so for starters we want to load jQuery and jQuery corner into the page. So I'm just going to put that above the head as a standard script tag. Hopefully you know that if you know HTML. Now I'm going to drop in some content for the page itself just to, so we have something to work with. And this is going to overwrite. Okay, let me just... Okay, this works. Um, okay, so what we have here is I put in some style for a div, uh, div with the class gray color that is a background color with and a few other elements. Now look at the three divs I have set up here. We have one that has a class gray color and a class round, one div with just a class gray color, and one div with a class of gray color and an ID of main. Now if we load this up in our browser, you won't really see anything aside from three regular divs. And that's because even though we've loaded the JavaScript library into our page, it's not doing anything. And that makes sense because we haven't told it to do anything and it doesn't just automatically round everything it gets. So what we want to do is ha tell jQuery to round the specific element on our page. And the way we do that, now this is a bit of jQuery JavaScript knowledge uh, that I'll show you. Uh, you just put this up in your head, script type. And you can also put this in an external script file if you'd like. Um, this is short enough that I just don't see it necessary, but uh, that's a matter of preference. Okay, these are two lines of code that you have to type exactly, otherwise you'll probably get an error, and that I don't really want to explain now, but basically what this does is tells jQuery that if everything on the page is loaded and can be worked with, then do whatever is in these brackets right here. Um, so right now, again, we still don't have it doing anything. So I'm going to show you how to use this jQuery corner plugin. The way jQuery selects something on a page is if you want to select, say, well, for starters, if you want to select anything, you put it in a dollar sign parentheses. So let's say we want to select every div with the class of gray color. If we put that in quotes. I prefer single quotes. Then we type a dot for class and then just type gray color. And then whatever we well, say after that will automatically apply to that class gray color but nothing else on the page. So I'm just going to do the most simple, simple thing we can do now and that's type corner with uh, open close parentheses and a semicolon. Save that and if we load it up there are your rounded divs. All three of them because they all have the class of gray color. Now let's say we want to do an ID instead of a class. Let's take this ID main. If you want to enter an ID, again, keep the single quotes, but instead enter a number sign and type main. This is a lot like uh, working with CSS directly. So now if we load that up, you can see instead of everything getting rounded, just any div with the ID of main. So you can see right there, this is round and those two are not. Now this is how this, this is showing how jQuery can be selective and round some things and not others. Let's say we want... Um, well, let's, let me show you that you can uh, do this for multiple statements. So you, can't, you don't just have to mush it all into one. 
you can also type, let's say I want the class of just round. Those two lines will both be valid and the page will come out looking with the class div with the class round, that'll be rounded, and the ID of main will be rounded. But this div, because it only has the class gray color, it doesn't have either of the attributes we specified, that's still square. Now, uh, w if you go to the jQuery uh, corner page that I showed you before, it gives you a bunch of different um, different ways you can customize it. Now, uh, get ignore the this part, um, but if you look in between the parentheses, they've put things such as bevel, byte, sharp, and other effects, as well as uh, how you can use uh, s different styling if you just want the top elements or not or a left, as well as the size of the corners. Um, well, I'll just take one for example. I'll take uh, I'll take byte 30 px. That basically puts the 30 pixel byte. Um, I may not. I won't do 30 px. But well, first I'll show you that if you just want a larger rounded corner, you can put that in single quotes in the uh, corner function itself, or you can. I'm sorry. What? Let's see. Oh, I made a mistake. There is no space between there. But uh, if you want to add an effect, it pretty much explains it on this website. So I recommend taking a read over that just to make sure. Um, that you ha are more uh, so you know how to work this effect because there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. So I'll just show you two examples, and here it is. And see that's that's now more rounded, and this has the bite effect on it. Um, one other thing I'd like to show you, in addition to cornering something, you can uncorner something. Now you're probably thinking, why would that? Why would we need to do that? So let's say we want to make everything in the gray color class rounded. But let's say, let's just get rid of this line. Let's say I don't want the ID of main to be rounded. Um, now you could just set up a separate class that that corners everything. But instead, we'll do what's called uncornering. So I'll type in ID of main dot uncorner and uh, open close parentheses and a semicolon at the end of that line. Now if we reload this page you can see that everything is cornered except this last one which has an ID of main so that can be useful um, depending on how you want to work with your elements on a web page um, I think that's about all I can say about uh, jQuery's corner plugin um, if you have any questions leave a comment or send me a message on YouTube and thanks for watching